Maya FM, and uh, thank you so much to everyone that's coming tonight. Such a spectacular evening for us, like Mother Nature knows. And uh, you know, everyone here, I see so many familiar faces, and um, you know, it's uh, everyone in our in life experiences something at some time, whether it affects you directly or someone else. It's um, you know, it's it's crazy in this life what we have to deal with. And um, I try to understand diseases and everything ever since I went through one myself just over two years ago. I had breast cancer. So I'm two years out of treatment. And, um, you know, I try to, I think for that reason, to understand a little bit more about every, everyone and what they go through. So I want to say sorry first off and um, that you are going through this or someone in your life is going through this because it's not easy. And uh, rallies like this are a way to bring awareness to the situation. And I think Town of Cobra has done a great job that way. And on that note, I'd like to introduce Town of Walked today with Harry. He only 
walked like 11 miles, so he's he's got like uh, what 489 to catch up to Harry. Just a few more, Dad. Uh, a, a couple of years ago, my dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, and we started looking for ways that uh, we could get involved in the community. Because as we can all tell right now, we've got a couple hundred people out to celebrate this walk and to support this walk and to be part of a bigger community. Obviously, Coburg is a great community, but there's a bigger community that we just heard about across the country and across the world of the, the greater Parkinson's community. And, you know, whether we live in, in Coburg or Toronto or all across Canada, we are part of a bigger community. That's the, the family and friends and the people that are affected by Parkinson's disease. And we know celebrities that are affected by Parkinson's disease, we know fathers and friends that are affected, and, and uh, you know, it, it goes far and wide. And um, One of my favorite uh, actors when I was growing up, I used to really love the, the, the movies. I think you guys, you guys probably haven't even heard of it. Back to the Future? Ever heard of it? Back to the Future? Well, about 15 years ago, the, the main actor in Back to the Future was Michael J. Fox. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And that was the first celebrity that really came out and, and talked about his disease. And then just recently, I'm sure you guys heard that Muhammad Ali, the, the world's greatest boxer, uh, just passed away and he had Parkinson's disease too. So this is a disease that affects everybody. It affects celebrities, it affects dads, and brothers and sisters, and it affects uh, my great friend, Harry McMurtry. And it also affects uh, his great friend and our great friend, Sue Thompson. And it also affects Dr. Ross Sugar, who unfortunately Dr. Ross Sugar heard his clavicle playing frisbee the other day, so he's not here uh, joining us. But it's pretty awesome that somebody with Parkinson's can still look at frisbee around, right? Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. And it's even more awesome that these guys are walking 500 miles to support this great cause that everybody here uh, has a connection to. So uh, it's my great, great pleasure and honor and privilege to introduce a couple of people who you guys all know as Harry McMurtry and Sue Thompson. Are you guys here? Well, they, they, they walk like 450 miles already, so you take your time. Right. You're standing on the stage at Gober. You can feel like standing, you don't feel like standing. The two little guys up front, you stand up. How to, how to generate awareness, a big event like this that takes months, it takes years to plan, but then it takes months to, to, uh, to, to, to roll out and to get finished, right? Because who's going to walk 500 miles in a week? I'm glad you guys decided to take it over a couple of, uh, a couple of weeks at least. Um, this is all about awareness and, and raising some money and awareness for a great, great cause. And uh, it happens by word of mouth, it happens by media, and it happens at events like this. When we get out together and, uh, and celebrate together, celebrate the accomplishment that these guys are, are still underway. How many more miles left? About, about 70. Wow. You guys are like, I can see the finish line. You guys can almost see the finish line. So far. So guys, I'm going to throw it back to, to Jenny for a second here. We're going to introduce some, uh, some great people. And you guys are hear some, some wise words from some very wise people. But it's my pleasure to be in Coburg. And, uh, and thank you so much for coming out to, uh, to be with us today. Next, I'd like to bring up MPP Lou Rinaldi of Northumberland Quinty West and uh, Councillor Deborah McCarthy of Town of Coburg to say a few words. So, Harry, Sue, welcome. Welcome to Coburg. Welcome to Center Universe. <laughs> it truly is. Thank you for what you're doing for bring awareness. And you know, I was just doing some math. You said miles, not kilometers, right? So that's 800 kilometers. <laughs> 800 kilometers. Yeah, we're, we're Canadians. We're doing the Canadian way. We're metric. But you know, and then they say 70 miles. That's over 100 kilometers. So go figure that. So anyways, congratulations. Thank you for being here. Uh, for the awareness part. Because you know, some of us are very lucky. That we can only say we know how it feels. But the reality is we really don't know how it feels because we're not experiencing it. So for you to be out here tonight and show the support, you might have a family member or yourself that suffering from this disease. But you know, it's awareness like this and the ability to raise some money to, uh, to help fight this disease, we'll, we'll conquer it like many other diseases, but it's going to take time. So thank you for doing what you do. Keep on walking. Have a great night. Have a great day.
Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm here on behalf of Mayor Brockenier because there's a covert council meeting starting in five minutes, which Lou and I have to go off to. Um, and thank you, Harry and Sue, for bringing beautiful weather at the end of the day. Uh, we all know it. We were thinking it was winter today. Um, what I, what I want to share with you is, although I'm a member of council, I wore another hat uh, for many years before this. And I, I was the educator for the Alzheimer's Society and worked with families, uh, although it's called Alzheimer's, we did broad um, education on dementia. And here's the thing about progressive neurological brain diseases. Um, we're in the big stage now. Um, neurological science is the happening area of research. So the funds raised, will be absolutely on target to find a cure for this illness. But the other thing is, as an educator, is that there are the individuals who are experiencing Parkinson's, and then there's the caregiver and the family. So it's a journey for everybody. And what I'm sensing in the group tonight is that energy, and it's wonderful energy, that you're all here together, you're, you're connecting with friends and family, and that's a very, very big part of it, is reaching out, remaining social, and the big, big piece which we know is keep moving. It is the drug for all of these kinds of illnesses. And if we keep moving, it keeps our brain working to the best of its capacity. So my message is, Thank you for being role models on walking, whoa, it's going to be 900 kilometers. But for the rest of us, no matter what we uh, come across in life, uh, whether it's another illness, chronic illness, keeping moving, keeping walking is the best thing for your brains. And also, and I see it amongst people that I know in the crowd, keep laughing. We really need to do that at times too. So thank you, it's an honor. And Thank you for coming to Coburn. Big round of applause for Lou Rinaldi and Deborah. Thank you so much for your work. Jenny introduced me every time I have to get up here and speak. But I'm the co MC. She's the boss, obviously. She's the local radio host. Everybody, I have the pleasure and, and the privilege and honor of, of introducing somebody else. And you know, some people when you're asked to introduce them, you get a little bit nervous because their resume is like longer than most books. And this gentleman has that distinction. His resume is longer than a book. So I'm just going to say it. He's Harry's father. His name is Roy. He's former Chief Justice of Ontario. And I hope he's got some good stories for us because he's here to entertain us. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Roy McMurtry. Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador Adam. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your uh, very generous introduction. And, and I really mean generous because I couldn't be more pleased than to be introduced as not only Harry's father, but Sue Thompson's good friend. And so we're all so enormously proud of um, Sue and Harry and the good doctor who cannot be with us tonight. I can say, uh, 84 years old, and I've been to Coburg many times, and I can't think of a, a nicer evening to be back in Coburg, such a beautiful evening, and for such an important occasion. And I used to be in your courthouse, pleading cases for many years as a, as a young lawyer, and I still have uh, memories of many uh, decades ago. Uh, speaking to the Colbert Chamber of Congress on the 100th anniversary. But here, but of course today, what I want to focus on is the courage of, of uh, Sue and Harry 
uh, walking this really great distance uh, to raise money for a very, very important cause. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here to support the cause. And uh, your presence here tonight uh, does great honor to uh, Sue and Harry and, uh, and members of the Parkinson's Walkathon team. And I'm glad that uh, I'm sharing this evening with uh, our, our good friends uh, Ann Hull and, and, and Kirsten Hull and uh, Harry's uh, aunt and uncle, Bill and, uh, Dr. Bill and Mandy McCray, and, uh, and I think many others. But I'd just like to simply conclude by thanking you once again for your attendance this evening, for your support, and indeed you do us all honor with your individual presence. Thank you very much. Now, as promised, we have a few recordings that we'd like to play for you. The first one's from Kim Rudd. I'm Kim Rudd, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Natural Resources and proud Member of Parliament for Northumberland Peterborough South. I'm so sorry I couldn't be with you today. I want to thank everyone here for participating in the fight against Parkinson's disease. It's a fight I know we'll win, and we'll win by everyone here today taking just one step at a time. Events like this help fund the research we need that will lead to the day when this world is Parkinson's free. A day I know we all look forward to. Thank you to my friends Dennis Whalen and Jane McIver for walking today. And thank you all for what you're doing to bring a Parkinson's free world that much closer. We're just arguing. We just met, but we're like an old married couple already. So I'm not the only ambassador for this great cause. There's a couple of other ones, and it's my great pleasure now to introduce a recording from another one, but he's got a tricky last name. Uh, I'm told he played hockey. His name is Wayne Gretz Gretzka? Gretzky. He's an honorary patron for this walk. So let's hear what this Wayne guy has to say. Parkinson's is a fairly misunderstood disease that affects more than 5 million people worldwide, including my dad, Walter. I'm proud to support Harry and his team as they raise money and awareness for Parkinson's by walking 500 miles from New York City to Toronto. Quite an undertaking. See how you can help or donate at 500miles.org. Good luck out on the road, Harry, Sue, and Dr. Ross. We're all behind you every step of the way. Now we're going to hear from Lima, that's Sue's good friend. Last summer, when Sue and I hiked in the Grand Canyon, we were on what we thought then was the hike of our lives. It was the hike Sue was supposed to do with her dad, and dad was with us every shaky step of the way. Little did we realize then that that was just a little warm-up walk. What you guys are doing now is awe-inspiring. Though your goal was raising money and awareness for Parkinson's, this walk has become so much more than that. You're making people sit up and realize how much is possible how much we are truly capable of, and that despite any medical diagnoses, we can still smile and laugh and keep putting one foot in front of the other day after day after day. Harry and Ross, it's been an honor and a pleasure getting to know you guys just a little bit. Suey, love you with all my heart. I wish you all the very, very best for the last few miles you have left. See you in a few days. Love, Lima, Martins, and the rest of us. Next, uh, we've got a recording from rock and roll legend, Tom Cochran. Harry, it's Tom Cochran, buddy. Congratulations on making it to Cobra. What an incredible feat. And you've only got 100 miles to go, so keep it going. We're all very, very proud of you. Uh, congratulations to Coburg as well for proclaiming June 13th Parkinson's Awareness Day. Coburg cares. And many thanks to John Gutteridge and his team of volunteers who've helped make this event happen. Harry, we're incredibly proud of you. I love you, brother. Keep it going. So 
So you asked Tom to, to uh, be an ambassador because right now, uh, Harry and Sue's life really is a highway. Like, it's, it's crazy how much it's exactly just a highway. <laughs> right? Let that one linger for a bit. Came up with that. It's not on the script. You can, you can read it. All right, the next one's from Mike Sherwood. That's Woody. Harry, you putz. All for one and one for all. Can't wait to see you next week. Keep walking strong. Rip Ram. Woody. And the next one's from Jeannie Becker. Hi, everybody. Jeannie Becker here, one of the celebrity ambassadors for 500 Miles for Parkinson's. I just want to say a big congratulations to the unstoppable Harry McMurtry, who's made it to Coburg and now has less than 100 miles left on this inspiring journey. It also warms my heart to learn that the lovely town of Coburg has proclaimed June 13th Parkinson's Awareness Day. My own dear mom battled Parkinson's for many years, so I know how cruel the ravages of this disease can be. Thank you, Coburg, for caring. And thanks to John Gutteridge and his team of volunteers for making this fantastic event happen. But above all, kudos to our hero, Harry, for coming this far and doing his bit to raise much-needed funds and awareness for the cause. You're awesome, Harry. Here's to the final leg of your remarkable mission. So it's obvious that, uh, that Harry, Sue, and Ross have a, a, a lot of support, and it's amazing that you guys all came out to support them tonight. And uh, as promised, we're going to get to hear a few words about the journey from, uh, from Harry and Sue themselves. So guys, come on up and uh, tell us a little bit about your walk and whatever else you want to talk about. Sue and I have been busy walking, not preparing speeches. And everybody stole my line who came up here before. One of them is keep moving. That's advice we can all heed. You gotta keep moving. I don't think 500 miles has, I don't think that's a goal for everyone. If my feet have something to say about it, 500 miles is too far. <laughs> and someone standing beside me has to take my feet every morning. That's been the hardest part of this journey. <laughs> Okay, sorry, that's, it's a PG audience. <laughs> I really want to express my gratitude to the whole Gutteridge family for putting on such a great day for us. Yeah! <laughs> Special shout out to John Gutteridge. And I really wanted to thank everyone here for coming. You know, the best part of this journey for us has been meeting other people with Parkinson's. And just other, everyone who's come out to support us, people of relatives, friends with the disease. It's the most enjoyable part. It really gratifying and encouraging and keeps us going. Yes. Woo! Woo! I think um, one of the things that Harry and I keep hearing from people um, is how inspiring we have been. And I think it's just really important for all of you to know that we are inspired by all of you and all the people that we have met on this journey. It has been an incredible 38 or 39 days. I can't remember where we're at right now. They all seem to run together. Um, but we really draw on the strength of the people that we have met. And we have met on every step of this journey. Um, people who have come out to wish us well to share their stories um, and to share some of their struggles with, uh, with Parkinson's. And it's really made us that much more determined to make sure we get to Toronto um, and raise as much money and awareness uh, for this disease as we can. So thank you to Coburg. Um, this has been a phenomenal day and one that we will never forget. So thank you. Well, you should say it better. Thanks very much. Now, um, I had the privilege of uh, talking to John Gutteridge, as you all know, and um, we actually found a connection between the two of us, because I'm originally from Stovall and just moved here 14 and a half years ago, 
and uh, I gotta say he is quite the inspiration and uh, he's someone that just keeps on going by doing events like this and organizing and uh, I find him quite incredible and I'd love to hear from him so if you could come up and say a few words. That's quite an expectation to fill. <laughs> First of all, um, when I uh, heard Harry was doing this walk, uh, let me back up a step. I was introduced to Harry by Woody, the fellow that made the last announcement there, uh, about a year or so ago. And Harry and I have communicated a number of times in that last year. But to be honest with you, tonight is the first time that I've met Harry in person. And um, unfortunately, my sister's in my whole family got to meet him before I did, but uh, <laughs> I did get to meet him today. And it's a real pleasure and real honor to be there. He's a real hero of mine. As somebody that has Parkinson's, I can appreciate what Harry's going through. But I ho hope the rest of you people that are here can appreciate what he's going through as well. You have to understand when you have Parkinson's that walking is not as easy as it seems for the rest of you. You have to concentrate on every step. You stiffen every step, and you lumber, and you shuffle, and it's very difficult. And to see a man like Harry going on 500 miles is just incredible. And Sue, you're here as well. Woo! I know I couldn't do it. Even though I play golf four times a week, I still couldn't walk 500 miles. And... But you know, the the problem that um, we have with Harry doing what he's doing is he's creating problems for people like myself. Because what's going to happen now is I'm going to go home someday after playing golf and tell Donna that I shot 81 and she says, well, have you walked 500 miles yet? <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm too tired to cut the grass and she says, have you walked 15 miles yet today? <laughs> or I'm too tired to go square dancing, have you walked 15 miles today? <laughs> now we're quit shuffling around the house. Harry doesn't shuffle. <laughs> These are all problems I'm going to be faced with now. Today, as I say, when when I found out Harry was doing this, I, re I realized that he wasn't coming through Stowell. So I looked at the map and knew he was coming through my hometown here of Coburg, and I knew your people would be behind it 100. percent And my family, of course, would take all the credit because they did all the work. See, the nice part about living in Stowell and them living in Coburg is they got to do all the work, and I just get orders over the phone. <laughs> and they've done a terrific job. So we did a small fundraising program, and I'm happy to announce it that right at the present time we've got over $5,000. Oh. Uh, and I, just, I hope that we get up to 10000 you know, One of the issues was that some of you people donated your funds to the main site, and Coburg doesn't get recognized for it. So I know there's been some funds go through the Harry's 500 mile walk site that went directly to the Western Hospital or. Mount Sinai or the uh, Michael J. Fox Foundation. Anyhow, it doesn't matter how we get it or where it goes, the fact that you've donated is uh, very much appreciated. <laughs> and it's also my job to thank the people that have helped us, or helped my sisters and my brothers pull this off. First of all, I want to thank the town of Coburg, Mandy Robinson, the town crier, CJ's restaurant. I hope you had a good meal tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Ed and Van Gouverden for coming. I know you're busy. Tom Cochran for doing the interview and then giving us the message today. Roy McMurphy, it was awful nice to you and your wife for coming down today. I know it's a good And of course, James Firth. James has done the music for us and the PA system. Woo! And of course, Jenny McCabe, local celebrity in the radio here. My pleasure to meet you this week, uh, Jenny. Comments, fries, and things. I hope you all had a chance to have a hamburger or a hot dog today. <laughs> Colorful Turtles Healing, Healing Center. I assume they're doing your massages tomorrow, I believe. <laughs> Milestone Bakery, The Broadview Boutique, Furrier's Clothier, Baker's Cleaners, Marcy and Dennis Whaley, and of course, my family.
pretty impressive that you golf four times a week and don't manage to get as many miles in as my dad and I do when we play golf. Because when we play golf, we, we walk at least 50 miles a piece just getting our balls. <laughs> I don't have Parkinson's, so I'm just, I'm just a crappy golfer. <laughs> he admits it, but an amazing kayaker, so... Yeah, yeah that's right, stick to the boats, I guess. Yeah, you should take a boat with you when you go golfing. That's how much I spend time I can get my balls back out of the water, well, that's too. That's right, yeah. see? I can save some dollars on yeah. balls. Yeah, See, I'm here for you. Well, I want to thank John uh, again for being such a great ambassador, great organizer, and, um, you know, someone that just keeps on going in the light of being given such a sentence and um, as we all know here how it affects someone in your life it uh, it's not easy and let's put it in Canadian terms 800 kilometers that is insane that's insane for an average person to do let alone someone with Parkinson's and I just think it's quite the feat and you should be very very proud of yourselves I just want everyone to wish I had luck this summer in Rio. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Harry. And thank you to my dad and his wife, Andy, and the dogs. Without them, I wouldn't be here today. And thank you to Harry. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Coburg. Yes, thank you, Coburg, and thank you, Coburg, for making a day for Parkinson's awareness. I think it's so important, and I'm so glad to see it happening, and uh, right here especially. So thank you to everyone that came out. All the volunteers, everyone, um, I think you all deserve a big round of applause, so way to go, everybody. Woo!